Superman 78, The Metal Curtain. Okay, issue number five. Let's talk about it using my space system. So story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best that you can get in any category. Um, I'm going to give the storyline a 1.5 score. Uh, I really like this uh, storyline. I'm not, I can't give it a two because there's this little part of my brain that's like, it's not Metallo. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there he's, it's movie version, I guess. Like, you know how in the movies, they always got to do some kind of dumb thing and change it up. That said, I'm still liking what's being presented, um, you know, with the, with the Russians and all that. But it just feels like it's not Metallo. So I, I like this character who is Metallo, which I'll get to in the characters section. Um, but it's, that's the only reason. Otherwise, it does feel like it could have been a movie... Um, obviously if it was a movie, they maybe would have, um, given a little bit more relationship stuff, right? Just to, you know, cause that's the way the Christopher Reeve films, uh, worked. Uh, Christopher Reeve is my hero. Uh, I love Christopher Reeve just in general too, but like obviously the Superman films, they haven't beaten Superman one yet. Superman part one is the best Superman movie and it has not even been beaten yet at all. Not even close. Um, so there you go. Uh, for pacing, I'm going to give it a two because it's very fast pace. It gets right into it. It's like you start off, well, this, this in this particular issue now, Lex has, has, has been, um, well, we know that he created the suit, obviously, powered by kryptonite. Um, now, he didn't realize that the Russians had um, some kryptonite. He thought he was making it for Uncle Sam, but nope. Um, and, and again, we're not really sure exactly. Um, I'll get to characters uh, momentarily, but he's quickly Lex Luthor's in here. Superman's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta take care of business. Goes to Russia, and then we're getting right into some action. So pretty good. Um, yeah, I wasn't bored. It flowed well. What what more can I say? The art, I'm just not digging this art. Obviously, the artists, you know, like they can draw better than I can. Maybe it's maybe it's just. There's not enough like embellishment or there's just, I don't know, like the colors, I guess. I, I They're trying to do the Superman kind of hue on his shirt and all that. I I, I know that it, it almost depends on what version you watch because I just got these on 4K and it's definitely a deeper blue than what we're being presented here. But just a combination of things. Like, so I'm going to give the art a 0.5. Um, I, I just, it's not, I'm not digging it. I wish it was a little bit better. It's not like, Gar I could give it a one, you know, and give it a, a, a one point, but I'm going to give it 0.5. I just feel like it could be a little bit better um, for me personally. And I'm not like super dying over this kind of mech armor, but <clears throat> I don't even know if that would have been like that in the movie. Had this been a movie, I don't know if they would have really made it look like that. Um, so there is that aspect to it. But anyway... Speaking of art, I do want to mention my channel sponsor, BeardedShirts.com. They do these awesome print all over shirts. So here's Superboy, since we're talking Superman. They also, they've got Legion. Now this is print all over, so you can see it's on two sides. Um, they're my channel sponsor. So if you join up as a Legionnaire, you do get entered into a draw to win something from Bearded Shirts. Uh, every month we do one. So there you go. Um, if not, check them out. The link is in the description. They have tons of sales all, it's basically a sale all the time. It's, it's, it's like... So check them out. Uh, really good. You can do polyester style. You can do cotton style. These print all over shirts. They also have regular ones. Like if you just want a logo or something like that on there. Um, tons of DC stuff. They're starting to get a few Marvel things to X-Men and that kind of thing. So check them out. All right. <clears throat> characters. I'm actually going to give the characters a score of two because uh, I like the characters here. The Metallo guy is pretty good because he like... He doesn't, he actually believes he's fighting like for Russia and some of the, some of the, um, the government guys are like, well, you know, we, we should do this and some people will die and we'll make Superman look bad. And he's like, well, I don't want that. Right. So it's like, I got to take him down. Um, so he does have like, you know, some sort of like, I don't want to say noble intentions, but like sort of, it's hard to say it's tough with these kinds of characters. Like when you have a, you know, Russians involved or whatever, it's, it, it, it's like, it's very easy to just make them like really evil villains all the time. But they're trying to give some nuance to the to Metallo, which is kind of cool. Obviously, Superman's the friggin' best. Lois Lane's good. Uh, um, I like General Lane. He's pretty good, too. 
So yeah, for all, and Lex Luthor's hilarious in this where he's like, well, he goes, I don't know, it's my suit, but it's not me in the suit trying to kill you. So I don't know if I'm on Metallo's side, which is hilarious because Lex Luthor, uh, is, if it was Luthor in the suit, then he'd be like, oh yeah, I got to kill Superman. But now that it's a different guy, he's like, oh, I don't know if I like that. So that was pretty funny. Um, so all the characters we got in this story were really handled well. Uh, for my enjoyment factor, I'm going to give it a two. Look, um, th this is one of these reviews where, look, you can, if it's Superman, you got to give me some leeway. Superman's my favorite character, and Christopher Reeve is my favorite portrayal of the character. So um, it's very difficult to really bash the crap out of this comic. I'm trying to be as objective as I can, um, knowing in my mind and in my heart that Superman's my favorite so um it is tough okay i'm still a human being i'm not a you know i'm not a borg or a vulcan or something <laughs> so um i'm giving this an 8 out of 10 perhaps it's too high um but let me know in the comments what your score is uh do you like i, I do you like these retro kind of they did batman 89 this is the second series of superman 78 so i guess it's doing pretty well uh, what are your thoughts in general i, I d wasn't a big fan of Super of batman 89 um, actually, I, I, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. Uh, but I do like the 78 story. I, I am trying to picture it as a movie. So there's that. Um, all right, everybody. Well, that is it. <clears throat> um, thank you for watching. Until next time.